Hi, today we're going to talk about SQL Server's file stream service feature, whatever you call it, thing, the file stream thing. Uh, file stream very, very broadly allows you to uh, fairly easily store blob data like uh, pictures and documents and x-rays and surveys and whatever else in the file system rather than inside the table in or off row. Uh, it's a more efficient way for large files. Tiny little files, you know, a few K here and there probably doesn't matter enough to, to worry about. There's some articles back and forth on the on where the size matters. Uh, in this case, I've got I've had a client request. I have a client that needs to do this feature because of what's going on in their table. The data is bigger than probably was anticipated, uh, and it's causing all kinds of problems. So I went out and learned this, and when I can learn something new, you get to learn it too. So I may mess this up. Um, Cruising over here to my T-SQL window, this is a SQL 2017 instance, named instance. I have four on my box. Don't do that to your production servers. That's a horrible idea. Works great on my laptop. Uh, reference points here. Um, if you just search Microsoft for file stream, these are all fairly well organized in this order. The idea is we're going to go into Config Manager and enable it at the service level. Uh, we're going to change it and turn it on. We're going to create a database, create a table, insert some data, see some stuff, and we're going to create a database that, in theory, if I don't have not typoed this too badly, is going to, through some app that doesn't exist and never will, uh, log every text that I send my mom. I don't send my mom texts because she won't use a cell phone. She's older than I am, as you would imagine. All right, so we're going to go to Config Manager first, and there's all my instances. Nothing magic or secret there. I don't care if you look at them. Go to the Properties of the 2017. There's going to be a file stream tab on this, and it takes just a little while to come up for reasons unknown. Uh, I've got something on the window I'm going to show you, but these, I'm going to do all three of these. I, honestly, I don't know what my client's app looks like. I only know what the database looks like. So I'm just going to do them all to give us all the possible things we can do to it. So check all these things, hit OK, which is the same as hitting Apply and OK for those of you that like to do both buttons. Um, and that should be it on that portion. So it's been enabled. Now, those two boxes that I said I don't know what they do, here's what they are. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to look at that just a little bit closer. All right, so we're going to check the SP configure settings for this instance, and we're going to see the file stream is not configured to run, nor is it actually running, because a zero means nope. All right, cool. So. The last demo, it all fell apart right about here. So, and that's probably, that needs to be a two. We're going to tell it to run, and we're going to tell it to configure it, and actually make it be running, and cross your fingers. Hey, we got twos in both columns. That's a good thing. All right, so we are going to go ahead and restart the instance, and the video is going to look just a little bit choppy here, because I'm not going to make you sit there and watch my instance restart. I like you more than that. So in theory... This is all restarted. All right, here's where we're going to go sideways if we're going to go. Um, we're going to create a simple database called stream file because I am brilliant and I took file stream and reversed the words. That's how I roll. Uh, it's got a database file like you would expect, a data file like you would expect. It's got a log file, but it's also got a file group that contains a, a file named stream file files. Again, I'm brilliant. The only thing really to note here is that it's just a directory path. It's not backslash something something dot whatever. Um, that's the path to your location that the files are going to be in. So we're going to create this and hope that it works. Yes. I love it when a plan comes together. Let's refresh the database list and we'll see our stream file database. It's still nothing fancy there. Just created a database. We're going to create a table um, in the stream file database. Why does it say it doesn't exist? Okay, cool. Uh, context. Let's switch that over to stream file. I bet it exists now. Um, okay, so this is a requirement for file stream is that you have a unique identifier column in it. And this is going to also be required because it, it GUID, I should have said GUID, not unique. That, throw, that word those people off. This is required. It is also required that you have an integer column that is unique. Well, that you have a unique column. Integer is obviously the easy one. I'm going to create this because I forgot to do it here and go ahead and uh, 
go in and design this table and make it be an identity field just because I should have done that in the code and I didn't go down here identity come on is it any yes this save it and it's got a text body which is a, a var binary max and it specifies the file stream attribute that's important so essentially you're going to get a GUID you're going to get a number you're going to get the chunk of whatever is going into your file out on the file system all right so let's see if this uh, my original work if I translated all this correctly so insert into stream file ID text body I'm just I'm just sticking hi mom in there again these are texts to my mom and to that does to my mom that doesn't actually receive texts at all um, insert that and we'll verify that that row actually exists and what I'm doing here is I'm just going after the actual number and because this is a var binary and I'm um, wanting to see what is essentially um, text I need to convert it to a varchar max this is just for my test what your app does is a whole other question but it takes this text body converts it to varchar max and shows it to me with any luck hi mom fancy stuff fancy stuff let's go ahead and upgrade update it with the next one I sent her was how you do and so essentially one row is going to have an entire over several years it's going to have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of texts that you would think I text my if I were texting my mom it'd be no more than once a day because <laughs> she'd respond a lot uh, okay this text ID is is one change that back to one let's pretend I've got you know thousands of people's text records in there which I don't all right let's up that and I didn't uh, I put a space in there I didn't put any character turn line feed for a demo didn't it didn't really matter so it's not nice and pretty but if I want to see it again hi mom how you doing Ta -da! instead of one text hi mom how you doing hi mom send how you doing send that's what's going on here what I'm trying to store um, and now because that was ID one let's get rid of it because mom doesn't text let's go see if it's gone it is now the underlying files that were created outside of the table in the file system which is the entire point of this there's a garbage collector that cleans up later so if I go looking for that file it's gonna be all binary I wouldn't be able to identify it anyway it's gonna still be there for a while I don't know how often that goes or if that's configurable configurable or not but if you're finding your that your database is getting kind of chunky and using huge amounts of, of transaction log space because you're storing big you know giant word docs legal briefs satellite imagery x-rays whatever and it's beyond a few K a few hundred K probably is about the max I would guess if I remember the reading correctly um, this is where you want to go start testing this the app doing this work way outside of my skill set I'm a DBA I don't know how to do app development I don't know want to the closest I ever got was access yeah I started out as an access developer so if you have any questions comments criticisms whatever criticisms keep them keep them to yourself no I'm kidding uh, go ahead and put them in the comments I will try to reply to those I'm still replying to stuff from videos I put up seven years ago from time to time so I hope this helped at least get you started it's not a be-all end-all solution but it's most of the way there from a database perspective take care